more example here. Um, once again, we have an x squared over a square root of x term. Now, right away, that looks problematic because we can't really take the power rule of this uh, expression. But let's see if we can manipulate it so that we can. So we know right away that from the last problem, the square root of x is just x to the 1 half. And by fraction dividing fractions rule, x squared over x 1 half is simply x squared minus 1 half, which equals x to the 4 over 2 minus 1 over 2 dx, which equals the integral of x to the 3 over 2 dx. So now, in this form, we can finally take the power rule. So 1 over 3 over 2 plus 2 over 2 times x, 3 over 2 plus 2 over 2 which equals 1 over 5 over 2 times x to the 5 over 2 plus c. And that reduces down to 2 over 5 x to the 5 over 2 plus c. So just like the power rule for derivatives, the power rule for integrals is very straightforward uh, as long as we keep our variables and uh, structures um, clear in our heads. So like this one, we have this x squared term and the square root of x term, but we reduced it down to a x to the exponential. Um, and then we apply the power rule. So the power rule is the most fundamental rule for integrals as well. Thanks for watching educator.com. We'll see you in the next lesson.